Um, all right. Um, so to get us started, I'm wondering, uh, Miss Marion, are you able to? Uh, can you uh, fade out? Sorry. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Oh. Um, so Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, you know. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> go get uh yeah so go solo get out oh go hey go uh, i get so eight more hey man hey on the key no go ahead don't get eight more hey more go ahead don't get a go go ahead hold on get oi i get so eight more hey oh go but my boy, my boy, they all boy don't get get coot they all go don't get get peak get uh go I'm bell dog they keep up but they don't talk dog got they on the get I get on they dog go go on go go don't get yeah oh boy oh with us Lord. And eight day on day, get boy, get go. Go don't get, I will hang up, get boy, get go. On get high, go. And on the key, go. Go don't get. Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up, they don't say a go. Don't say below. They keep up. Don't eat. They talk to. And they might turn to go. Go in my turn to go. Tell you go. Can you come on you? They tie to go. They on the tag you go. On the tag go. They on the go. They go. Boy, get peak get ah. Don't go. Let us remember and keep this traditions lord and we praise your holy name and thank you for watching over all of them go <clears throat> and be with us because oh come dog go get going dog they hum hey go hey go on zone go hang it dog and thank you, Almighty God, for your messy blessings. A whole day, doggy. A whole day. Uh -huh. I pray you, that we, I pray that we will continue. Thank, yeah, I pray that this will continue, and everybody will continue to learn this language and not forget our Kiowa traditions and language. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. appreciate that. Um. Well, it uh, looks like we had uh, more people join us uh, while we were praying. Uh, so let's see. I think Courtney's still connecting to audio. There's Judy. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, there's Dane. <laughs> um, I also see Grandma D. And we have Miss Marion. I see Grandma Martha now. And I see. Ramon, Kathy, and Judy is logging on. Um, um, so welcome. Let's see. Oh, and there's Lori. Let me make sure I'm admitting everyone. 
Okay, so I sent out uh, some resources and I think tonight we wanted to uh, practice um, our kinship terms as much as we could. But um, I'm also wondering, uh, we've been kind of anxious for some updates from the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board. <laughs> so uh, no pressure, uh, Dane, but if you're able to or willing to give us any updates that you have um, or any um, updates on things that we should study and pay attention to for the credentialing process. I know uh, we're gonna use these uh, summer sessions to kind of practice for the August round of credentialing and then also help those that are still trying to finish the different parts of uh, level two to get that completed. Um, so um, just let me know, uh, Dane, what you'd like to do. I can also make you a co-host if you want to uh, okay, do any uh, breakout rooms or anything. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, uh, right. so awesome. and then, uh, go ahead. We just had our uh, meeting. We had a little bit late this uh, this uh, summer or this uh, month because uh, they had a lot of stuff going on during the middle of the month, beginning. So, um, so we had it today, and then we're going to have another one in two weeks from now. Uh, so we'll get some updates. Um, everybody's going to relist those recordings from those uh, five interviews. Well, actually, only four of the interviews because one of them actually did a kinship, uh, finished a kinship part. So that's a little bit different than the interview, conversational interview. Um, we got two that went for level one and then two that went for level two. So we are going to listen to level ones first, just uh, for the credentialing purposes. And then we'll go ahead and listen to the level two. So we got two people that went in for a level two. Um, so there's not that many to listen to this time. Started updating um, our how we do, how we um, evaluate these, did a little, little switch up to those. So if you want to see kind of the area, these may look different over time, and there's going to be a pretty big change uh, coming up pretty soon. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you all just so that you all know what kind of what we're going off of for the level one conversational. Um, basically, did the candidate answer the questions? They answered none, some, most, and all. Just we're trying to be as much straightforward about, the, about these as possible. So I'm going to say these first questions are more of a suggest, you know, suggestion type things and kind of see where you where you fall as far as, you know, us as evaluators, where we feel that you're at in this, um, in the conversational part. Uh, what's the candidate's pronunciation? So even though you got a pronunciation uh, portion that's separate from this, where you have to revoice certain things until you get all of them correct. Uh, we still do a little bit of a little bit of a listening to that, whether like how is the candidate's pronunciation poor, moderate, good, or excellent. Excellent is like they're hitting even all the tones too. So um, uh, so a lot of people are kind of hitting in between in this area by the time they get the conversational stuff. So um, again, that's not exactly deciding what it's uh it's not really deciding what, what, whether you pass or not yet. It's just kind of showing um, where we feel as evaluators, where you kind of stand in here. If there's anything that, that's kind of questionable or anything, we just put it in the comments, try to help you out to know where it is that you might have missed something or, you know, what sounds are being missed. It's going to be, there's going to be more uh, updates on this, and it may not have this exact format later on. And I'll, I'll elaborate more on that. How did the candidate respond? So are there, is it first it starts with when they don't do anything, no response to mostly one word responses where you're just saying, oh, and that's it, or things like that. As some of these do have the answer where you can just answer hall. Oh, so that's that's already known in here too. So the, we, that's taken into account. Uh, with the words and short phrases, with the words and phrases, uh, this, the difference between these, I probably need to work uh, word a little bit better. Uh, words and multiple phrases. Sometimes, if you say more than just uh, one phrase, but you may say two or three phrases to answer the question, if you wanted to, if it's something more where you can elaborate on it. 
And then you got the words, phrases, and initiate more conversation. So now we're starting to get to level two, which is gonna, kind of going to bring up something in a second. So that's going to be important, that last square uh, for all of these. Um, and, you know, if the responses are a certain way, you know, we might put in the comments mostly, somebody mostly said, oh, they didn't really elaborate on what they were doing. Um, or if they were there, then it's just kind of in the middle. You know, they answered all the questions. They just answered them with, uh, you know, with the shortest that they could, uh, they could answer them with. Um, what what really is the what the main thing as a candidate you're probably wanting to look at is do you get the pass or not the pass. Um, so if you get the pass for a level one, you know, you can move on to the next level and practice for that. If you don't pass, then you can just take it again at the next one. So that's all the past is probably the most important. It's probably what, what you're looking at. But if you want feedback, that's where this stuff comes in right here. Or if you're wondering why you didn't get the pass or something, you know, you'll probably see it in the feedback why you didn't pass for one evaluator over another. And since we're all, since it is conversation and we are uh, trying to judge a conversation, you know, it's kind of tough to do that. So this is where, you know, us as evaluators can put in why, what our reasons were. So, um, so we'll have better feedback this time, uh, this time around. Um, then we got our name, evaluator, evaluator signature, print, and then the date. So, um, of course, it'll be cleaned up a little bit, and we're we're gonna start doing a time limit for this. So, it's at around fifteen to twenty minutes. So, I guess for right now, twenty minutes is gonna be a maximum. So, we're not taking too long answering the questions that. And we're looking at at the time limit, not going above 20 minutes to answer, you know, the 14 questions, 14 to 16, because you, sometimes people do ask stuff outside of that. And sometimes we have some extra conversation outside of that. That's why we kind of give that, you know, I was thinking 15 minutes, but sometimes, uh, you know, we'll talk about stuff outside of that. So sometimes that might extend the time. So we gave an extra five minute buffer for that. In my classroom, when they do their, they get about 14 to 16 sentences, and they only got 10 minutes to do that in. So it's it's kind of a fair buffer um, as far as what we're doing. And plus, we understand that we sometimes, uh, because we're talking about stuff and trying to explain stuff, sometimes we will take up a little bit of time there, too. That's why we got that. Go ahead and put that 20 minutes buffer on there for everybody so it is going to on the next one around it will definitely have that time limit but for right now we'll do that 20 minutes just to make sure that it did fall under a certain uh, time so keep that in mind 20 minutes is twice as long as the OU Kiowa one students get so um, you do get a little bit of a buffer here in this um, and that's kind of what it is for this but here's the big change that's probably going to happen and how you study for this is in the winter time more more than likely we'll give you an update in about two weeks so you may be able to choose one or the other but we're going to start moving the level one to being more of an understanding and translation type thing so where we're having the conversation and you you're having to tell us what is it that we're saying you are going to if when we do it that way you are going to get more it's probably going to be twice as many translations as it was when you answered it, but you're only you're only translating into English. So translating to English is a lot uh, is a lot easier. So it lets first of all it lets us know that you understand what we're saying. Um, second, uh, I just did my Kiowa one classes this last semester, and I did try it this way. And when this question was raised in our meeting just earlier. It's fitting right in with what Kiowa One here at OU is actually actually happening here too, is the Kiowa One classes have moved into seeing if they understand what we're saying over, are they just, are they answering us? And we, sometimes you can't tell whether they understand what I'm saying or not, whether they're just saying words that match with the response. So it is changing up a little bit. And I will tell you for this summer's Kiowa Two classes, when it comes to responding in Kiowa and they're having to actually respond to these senses in Kiowa, it, they're getting to that way, way faster than they were before. So uh, there's a chance that this might be level two because it's level one, level two are so similar right now, which is some small, 
which is some very small differences. So um, on that one, when it comes to this, if you have to take a level two, then it, it might look almost like your level one. If you didn't quite get everything in level one, but you still passed, you just almost take the same thing over again for that level two and you just make sure you do those, oh, the extra stuff that. in there. No, which life is main, that main thing for level two cool. is and going to be, um, it's going to be, or the main piece of level two is that you do you are initiating other conversation that really makes makes a level two. So there'll be some modifications to this to show a level two, but that is probably the main thing in, in the level two is that you also initiate your own uh, conversation. Uh, we were talking about level three and what the the main suggestion is that I kind of threw out there is level three, um, level one and two for conversation they will be timed. You know, they're going to get that time limit now. Uh, so you, you have to do it in under a certain amount of time. Level three, you actually got to go above it. So in level three, what's going to happen is you're in control of a conversation for about 15, 20 minutes. We haven't decided that yet because we don't have anybody that's uh, done that yet. Where the candidate has to come in and they control the conversation, but they got to make it last above 15 minutes and then of course in time we'll tell you okay you, you're starting to get above time so we can start closing out now yeah and so yeah. level three is your actual level three and this is what we're talking about that's not it's not concrete i've been decided on that just yet but to make more make a kind of put a make level one two and three put differences on them so that you can clearly see which was a level one a level two and a level three and that level one is that is starting to look like it's more into the understanding one, just like the kinship terms. It'll start fitting that format a little bit more, where we set a set of kinship terms, and then all you had to do is tell us who are we talking about. And this one is like, well, what are they saying with each other? You've seen these conversations the full time while you were here, as far as you were, if we you were part of the grant or in these Wednesday sessions, you've seen these conversations before. But if you hear them, can you notice right off the bat what they mean? And, and so that's where it's starting to look to. So um, that change probably might come in in December. There's a possibility it might be, it might be a choice that you do it in August. So we'll see if I can come up with the right evaluation for that in two weeks. And if they like it, it might change the way that you study for this, but I think we might put it up to a choice for August, whether you want to do it, the Kiowa, Kiowa question, Kiowa answer, or the translation, because we are we do have to make that change. And, and that's just kind of how this evaluation process is going to be for a little bit. Sometimes we do got to make these changes to uh, improve how this process works and to make it easier for people to trying to ease on into the language without taking anything away from it. Uh, but I think that's the main update. Um, oh, the other update is you probably want to know whenever we're looking at the date we're looking at. So the 19th of August, that's on a Saturday. Got several things coming up in early August. That's what we can't, that's what we can't do in early August, but 19th, hopefully that gives Give you a little bit more time. So the 19th, this one will be up in this direction. So in the Norman area, most likely it seems like we could be doing it at the language off. I mean, the, I mean the uh, District Seven office because that's still close enough to Anadarko lot in that area where they don't have to go all the way up in Oklahoma City and everywhere. And then all the four of the uh, four of uh, our board members live in a proximity to the area as well. So it's kind of easier for us to get there. So it'll jump back around. It might come back to Anadarko or down the, down the area somewhere down there uh, on the next one. So we'll just kind of switch out areas. If we do it three, like like we're planning on doing three a semester, it, you know, at different times of the year, every other year, it might be in the other area. So... Uh, I think, I believe that's all that I have for updates on that. And for the level ones and level ones and hopefully 
um, level twos I'll have that I'll have that modified version of this to where they they can uh, uh, they can pass you as a level two. So hopefully that comes in two weeks. I'll give you an update on that. Uh, for level ones, um, I'm going to go ahead and and send those uh, copies of those interviews to the areas so that the so that our uh, board members who need access to them they can go to the tribe or they can go to the language office and they can um, they can listen to them there if they wanted to so they got a place where they can listen to them where they don't have to pull them up and use the tech on their computers at home that they they can actually evaluate them and re-listen to them and just make sure that's that's how they wanted to um, they can fill something like this out Right. Oh, oh, uh -huh. that's awesome. That's uh, really exciting to hear. Um, and I, I think you probably mentioned this, but I know one question that we've gotten a few times is, uh, will there be at some point, or maybe you could just tell us like when we could expect it, whether we should plan for it or not, is uh, I know the process has kind of evolved uh, over the past year, but um, I know right now on the Google Drive in the credentialing study material folder, there's um, a level one checklist that kind of shows all the different parts of the level one. And so we've gotten a few questions from candidates on, is there going to be a level two checklist? Um, and if so, when uh, would we expect that? Um, let me go take a look at that, that checklist again, make sure it updated. It actually fits what the level one is now. Cause I know there's a, even last year when people took the level one, there was, there's some changes that happened in there. So take a look at update that level one checklist. Some of that stuff might jump over, actually probably jumps over to level two now. So, um, it just depends on what it was and how much, how much change. So I'll go ahead and, and take a look at that. It, it's in the credentialing checklist, right? That this works it's in the same folder. Uh, yeah, it's in the uh, main uh, credentialing study material folder. Yeah, that main okay. folder, it's like, I think it's in the, before you go into all the other files. Yeah. Okay, I'll start okay. updating that. Uh -huh. Yeah, just, we're just curious. Um, Oh, and then, uh, so I put the date in the chat for anyone who's taking notes, but I know that there's some um, who are out of state who want to plan or who may want to travel in to do the in-person credentialing. Um, is that Saturday, August 19th, like a definite date to for people to make travel plans or what would The only thing I got to check on this one is, um, is to make sure that the office is open for that day. Okay. Okay, awesome. Um, so let's see. We we will uh, we'll, we will be meeting uh, for the rest of July, um, and then you know through August um, up and you know up until that the nineteenth, so people can you know use this time to prepare. Um, so whenever you know whenever you're available on Wednesdays, um, you know feel free to. Come in and just give us any updates. I know we'll be uh, looking forward to hearing hearing more. Uh, and what I'm going to do today, because um, I know some people still need to uh, want to get certain parts done, whether it's a level two or level one, mm -hmm. is I'm, I'm going to create a couple of breakout rooms. One's just going to be me in there to, to answer any uh, more in-depth questions about each part because they still have they all have the four parts same four parts just they're just doing different things with them oh yeah i think uh one of the questions that we had a couple sessions ago was um on the the stories for level two reading the stories like uh what's the best way to submit those audio files to the language board to the credentialing board so most of them I'm getting right now, they're getting, they're sent to me via my, my Gmail account. So that's where I'm getting this, where I'm kind of gathering them from. But I know not everybody is able to do that. So of course, most people should have my number. So there's a way that I could get them if they're having a hard time really trying to get those recorded. 
down or if they got them recorded they just don't know how to get them off of there um mm -hmm. i could probably talk to them and talk to them if, if they can't find anybody to help them send those uh to my gmail or send me a link so i can listen to those and i can pull them off um then then uh go ahead and give me a call or text because that's the only oh. that's the only thing that's kind of running into is is um tech issues but that is one thing that might be helped with some of those uh, credentialing meetings is you know try to request having some computers available so that they can finish those. So even though the interviews are going on during that time, it's a good time that we're in there together or in together, you got other teacher candidates that are there and different teacher candidates could probably, while we're working on those interviews, show you how to do that or actually help you just uh, do a recording of whatever it might be. Oh, uh, awesome. But that that's, uh, um, when we did have this prediction meeting, some people just went in there, just, uh, I think on a few of them, they just went in there to see what was going on. And that's probably a good idea too, if you're in the area and we do have the, have those going on. You don't have to take the interview, but you can go in there and get some of the other stuff done if you wanted to. We had one uh, candidate go in and they came in and they did their kinship part. And that's all they, that's all they needed to do. And so they got it done right there and it was went by pretty fast. Oh, awesome. Um, also, um, another question I'm trying to think of all the questions that we had for the credentialing board over the past couple sessions. Um, another question we got was um, whether, um, so I know that you're gonna do the breakout rooms tonight, um, but um, I know that some people may want to work on certain parts of the level two or even the level one, um, more one-on-one -on -one to just talk through or maybe even to, to test out of, you know, test out what they, what the experience will be like. Um, so that's another thing is uh, having that available um, as an option. So I guess just let, let us know uh, when, you know, you'll be available and then that way people can kind of make note if they want to try to work on a certain part of the credentialing with you. What I'm going to do is going to name these uh, breakout rooms by what they're, by the area. So whether you're oh, level awesome. one or level two, I'm going to name them that. Awesome. So I'll have five, uh, I have five rooms. I have a kinship practice, pronunciation practice, um, conversation practice, and well, now let me think about the third one, this conversation. Grammar practice. Oh, yeah, yeah. grammar, our favorite. <laughs> yeah. And it's we only one part of grammar, but it's not, it's not, it's purposely not the easiest part of grammar either. It's, it's, it's of course, that's done for its purpose because the Kiowa only piece of information there. Um, Oh. Okay, and then there's going to be like an eva I just call it evaluation room because uh, if they really want to get something done, then we can move it to there so they get a little bit more privacy. So, okay. Okay. So I'll open those awesome. back up. If you um, really do have those questions, I'll see you go into those uh, rooms and I'll try to get there as soon as possible. There is a button to actually call one of us into the room. So I, probably both me and Mel, do you see that? Um, and I'll try to get to those rooms. So if you see that melody that shows up, then I'll try to jump to those rooms. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Um, also, I'm wondering, um, oh, there's the breakout rooms. Um, uh, Courtney and, and or Ramon, are you guys able, willing to be a uh, co-host just in case, like my internet has been getting, it keeps saying unstable. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be kicked off and I have to log back in, but I know Dane's a co-host, so but he'll be in some of the breakout rooms. Um, but uh, I don't know if one of you is going to stay kind of here in the main room, uh, but we'll need somebody to stay in the main room with co-host um, status. So that way, just in case, like, I get my internet cut and <laughs> I have to log back in, that way I won't shut down the whole Zoom. 
for people. Are, is anyone willing to be a additional co-host for the main room? Uh, I'm on. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and let her. Yeah, because I was about to say I'm also helping out at uh, camp, just restocking and stuff. So I'm just on my phone. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Courtney, are you down there too, or are you able? Oh, nay, I'm I'm good. I can help. Okay, awesome. Well, let's see. We'll uh we'll make you a co-host also, and thank you for uh for off being willing to Ramon. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh. All right. So that helps me feel better because I don't want to mess anything up if my connection goes goes crazy. Um, I thought I saw Lori on here. Let's see her. I guess we must have lost her. Lori was trying to log in too. But um, okay. Uh, so did anyone have any general questions uh, for Dane or? Um, on the credentialing process before we jump into breakout rooms and start practicing. All right. And I think what we wanted to do here in the main room is, um, since this is where most of our uh, mentors will be, um, we were gonna focus on the topic uh, for today, which is uh, kinship terms. So I was just gonna do what we started. I think we started that last, the last session um, where we go on study stat and just practice pronouncing and seeing if seeing who knows the stud, the cards on study stack. So that's what we'll be doing here in the main room. But um, if you, you know, there's like Dane said, there's those breakout rooms that are available for any questions and anything that you want to do or focus on tonight. So um, if you click on the breakout room button, you'll see um, kinship practice, pronunciation practice, conversations practice, grammar practice, and then the evaluation room. And then uh, if Dane sees you go in any of those, he'll jump over there to, to join you. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, and we end um, for this session. We like we've only been going for 90 minutes uh, till eight o'clock. Is that what everyone's expecting or is everyone expecting to go till 8 30. Um but leave it up to y'all. What do you think? What would you prefer? Because we can go an extra 30 minutes, but um I also know that these sessions are from 6 30 to 8. Fine with 8 30. Okay. Well, we'll go till 8.30 then. That way we don't get uh, get going and then have to stop. Okay, well, uh, cool. let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, so check out the breakout rooms um, and I'm gonna share my screen and pull up the study stack for kinship terms. Um, do we, I know, let's see, I'm trying to see, do we have any, do we have any level one kinship terms here, or should we go straight to the level two? I don't see uh, Tim or Lori, which I think they were working on level one. I think the rest of us, everyone I see here, I think is working on level two. Is that right? Okay. Uh, all right, let me find, let me open up a new web browser. Okay. All right. I'm sharing my screen. I think it's loading, hopefully. All right, can you see the study stat? The website? Oh. All right, awesome. Uh, so let's see here. I know 
I think we're mostly women here except for Dana and Ramon. Um, but I know Ro Ramon is uh, busy with camp right now, so he might just be listening in. Um, so what do we want to start with here? You want to do level one or level two for the family terms? Level two. All right, level two. And I'm going to go with a female version. So sorry, Ramon, let me know if you get to a place where you want to uh, do the male version, okay? So. Um, we'll start with the female version and then we can do the male version if uh, if you're able to. Um, oh, plus like if it says, um, if it's the, his, her version, then I can still answer those, right? Because I would still talk to someone like that. Like, for instance, Amal Gita, like you're, I'm talking to a, a woman saying your granddaughter. Um, maybe. Does anyone have an? Do any of our mentor mentors have an answer to that? Grandma Marthanel, is that accurate? What Ramon said. Or Grandma D, is that? Oh, I have my mute on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I can hear you okay. now. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think it can work. Practice. Okay. All right. So let's see. So here, oh, we're, I lost it. We're level two, though. So level two... Female version, English to Kiowa oral assessment. Okay, how do we want to do this? Do we want to, um, let's see, I think last time we were just kind of shouting out whoever knew the answer first, um, but I know that we also want to practice uh, pronunciation. So do we want to just kind of go in order, like of who's here in the room, or um, do you want to kind of just anyone can answer and then we can each take a turn saying it? No. Okay, well, we'll uh, go ahead and see who knows this one. Um, so the first one, my sister. Would um, that be Nopi? Nopi. Let's see. Nopi. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. E. Um, All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, your sister. Ah, 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 
Happy day. Happy day. Is it uh, e, e, e day, day or B e day. day 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 happy day happy day 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 happy day Grandma happy Martha day. would you be able to to uh, pronounce this for us so we can hear the tones. Up e day. 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 Uh, what if we Monday. was someone asking a question? Okay. Who knows this one? You're calling to. by name or <clears throat> uh, e. Uh, e. by name yeah or uh, e or great grandmother oh, wow i love it <laughs> Oh. Okay. My brother. Sorry. Not uh, Not Don. Uh, oh. Not uh, Don't. Not don't. Um, let's see. Uh, Grandma Martha, would you be able to pronounce the top and the bottom? Okay. Uh, the top one is no don't. No don't. And the second one is don't they. Don't they. Don't they. Don't they. No, thong, no, thong, thong, day. And either one is accurate, right? When we're speaking, talking about them. Yeah, my brother. Either way, it's going to be my brother. No, thong. No, thong. Thong, day. Oh, okay. Your brother. Ah, uh, don't. Ah, uh, don't. Oh. Ah, uh, don't. Ah, uh, don't. Ah, uh, don't. Her uh, brother. Don't. Don't they? Don't they? Oh, don't they? Let's see. I was looking for Miss Velma to see if she could pronounce this one for us. 
Attendez. Oh, Attendez. Her brother. Okay. Brother calling to them. Oh, the name. Ah. <laughs> All right. So we just call them by their name. Okay. My grandpa, and this is the female version. So. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Grandma Martha, would you be able to pronounce these stress? No, Kongi or Kong Day. Not All right. Your grandpa. Ah, Kongi. Ah, Kongi. Kongi. Ah, Kongi. Oh. Ah. Her grandpa. Oh, did I hear it? Did I hear someone? Uh, let's see. Uh, Miss Velma, you be able to say this one? A con joy. A con joy. A con joy. A con joy. Heard. I hope. Okay. Calling to you. Scramble. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Everyone knows that one. <laughs> All right. My grandma on father's side. No tongue, no tongue, not tolly, not tolly, 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 Mm -hmm. I was trying to rotate our mentors. Um, I see Miss Mary, and I see you unmuted. Would you be able to pronounce these two for us? Oh, no, Taliyoy. No, Tal. And the other one is Oh, my, my grandma on my father's side. All right. 
your grandma on your father's side, on the father's side. Sorry. Uh, Tali. Saw. Atali. Her grandma, father's side. Atal Yori. Oh. Atal Yori. Atal Yori. Calling to Tali. Now you, uh, it's how you say it, Tali. I mean, because it could mean boy if I accent you, Tali. Tali. <clears throat> so how's boy said? Uh, let's see. Uh, Grandma D, do you want to show us the difference between boy and grandma calling to you on the father's side? Hello, Tali. Tali. I have a question. Why is there a uh, Exclamation mark. Just calling out. Uh, good question. Is that just because of the English on the other side of the card? Uh, let's see. Is Dane? Dane, is that why there's an exclamation mark? Oh, me. Grandma D was wondering about the exclamation mark here. Oh, that was just to set it different from the other ones so that they know that you're calling to them rather than rather than talking about them. Just uh, there's a couple things that I've done that with. Uh, I've done it with when you're calling out and I've done it with things that are commands. Those are, if so, if you see any of the work, any of the uh, material items they have when it has an exclamation point it's just to distinguish something a little bit different about in this case where family terms it's okay. just uh it's just to show that you're calling to them I'll take a break oh sure. okay I'll yeah it's not yelling i guess but it's just <laughs> it's just to denote that it's Sometimes you have to yell at them so they can hear you. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes it can. <laughs> All right. Most awesome. of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, on the mother's side, my grandma. Anyone know it? A doggy. No, doggy. No, doggy. Doggy. No. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grandma Martha, now would you be able to say these for us? No, doggy. No, doggy. Tonday. Tonday. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um. Hey. Um. My daughter's calling me. Um. I have to go pick her up. So I have to put this on my phone. So can I uh, stop sharing and see if um if someone else is able to share their screen for the flashcards? And I'll put the link 
in the chat for what we were, the one that we were on. We were on your grandma mother's side. Uh, oh, all right. I have to switch to audio, so I might disappear for a second. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh -oh. Where do we leave off on? Um, <laughs> Your grandma on mother's side. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, your uh, grandmother. Uh, Toggy. Uh, Toggy. Uh, Toggy. Mm -hmm. All right. So we know that one says. Let's see, Velma, Guillermo Velma, will you pronounce that for us so you can hear it? Atanki, Atanki, Atanki. All right, Aho. Her grandma, mother's side. I think I heard it. Atong Goy. Atong Goy. Atong Goy. Atong Goy. Grandma D, can you pronounce this one? Her grandma, Atong Goy. Atong Goy. Atakio. Mm -hmm. Mother's Mother. side. Ah. 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 No. Ah. No, there's no. Uh, just ta. Uh. Ta. 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 Really hollering at her. Ta. <laughs> Um, oh, right. My dad or any of his brothers. No, Dal. Dollar. Dottoy. 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 Not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. Grandma Martha, can you pronounce those two? Okay. Not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. Not all. 
no dar da doy. Okay. <clears throat> Your dad or any of his brothers. A da da. A da da. A da da. A da da. Mm. I thought, uh, um, Grandma Belma, can you pronounce this one for us? I thought, did I say that right? <laughs> yes. Yours? I'm sorry, Miss Miriam. I didn't know that you were on. You got it next. <laughs> Her dad or any of his brother. I don't think. I don't think. Her dad. I mean, I a torte. Let's see. A torte. A torte. A torte. So I don't see that CD, that D on the last. Is day? Is it day or day? I don't day. I don't day. Okay, so maybe a a miss. There's a T sound. That D is a T sound at the end. I don't. Okay. Day. Between a T and a D. I don't day. Okay. So make that note. I don't day. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Dad. Da. 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 Okay. Uh, Grandma D, can you pronounce that first? Da. 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 Oh, my mom or any of her sisters. Oh, no, 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 Okay, no, so, so, boy. Can you pronounce that one, Grandma Martha? Mm -hmm. No, so, no, mm -hmm. so, go, 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 no, so, go, go. Your mom, boy. Ah, good boy. Ah. Ah, good. Ah, 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 Uh, 
um, Grandma Velma, can you pronounce this one for us so we can hear it? Her mom or any of her sisters. Her mom. Okay. So should that be a TD sound too? Yes. Miss Marin, can you pronounce this one? I saw day. 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 It seems that A H should be separate from the T S. I saw day. Oh, okay. Just separated, not elongated. Mom, calling to Ga, a Ga, Ga, Ga. Grandma Velma, can you pronounce this one for us to hear? Ga. Ga. Wa. Ha. Okay. How many are there? My uncle. Mother's side only. My uncle. Mother's side only. <laughs> my uncle no chicky not a not a that's it not a not a Say kia. Say kia. Say kia. Say kia. Say kia. Not a. Say kia. Okay. <clears throat> Your uncle, mother's side. Your uncle, at a. 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 Um, Darmody, can you pronounce this one for us, please? At a, at a, at a, at a, at a, Is that at a, an older way to say that, or? Say, I say, yeah, I say, yeah, say, yeah, say, yeah, I 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 say, yeah, I
That's great. Grandma D, is the us saved yet? Is that an older way to say that? Ramon's asking. Must be. Must be because I recall Must saying be. that when I was very small, calling my uncle us saved yet. But I don't know the reason, and I've forgotten it since then. If you'd asked me now, I wouldn't know. Just mm -hmm. seeing it, I remember. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it's old. old. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. I see. Her yeah. uncle. My. Oh, sorry. Gave it away. <laughs> Her uncle, uh, Grandma Marthe, is that a D need to be a TD sound also? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you day. say it for us, please? Better not say it too many times. Put them out. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> <Like> a what? <laughs> All right. We know that one. Let's see. My aunt, father's side only. Proper term auntie is also acceptable. No, 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 sorry. No, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. No, sorry. Grandma Bama, do you mind saying that one, please? Who? Bama? Oh, not sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. 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 Your aunt. Sai. Sai. Your aunt. Sai. 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 Miss Miriam, would you mind saying this one for us to hear it? The potatoes are still cooking. Okay. Oh, my aunt, father's side only. Did we just do this one? No. Oh, my aunt. I J. My aunt. No. No. Outside day. Outside. Why did? Not sorry. Sorry, you. We did this one. I thought so. Your aunt. Your aunt. That would be no. We did that. We, we did this one, right? Wonder what what did outside. I do? It's uh, outside. Okay. Her aunt. 
Uh, her aunt, uh, father's side. I say. Uh, uh, no, uh, side day. That's how they uh five mm. Grandma D, can you uh, let say this one for us to hear it? That's five day. That's five day. That needs to be a TD, Sam. Courtney. Pa. That's what I hear. I uh, think that, that maybe this whole set, maybe that got left out. Yeah. One. Probably o overlook. Uh, sorry, stay. Uh, sorry, stay. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> uh, sorry. Empty. I think I heard it. Sai. 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 Um, Grandma Marta, can you say this one for us? Sai. 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 No. No. Miss Miss Bellman, do you want? Can you say this one? No e. Mm -hmm. No e. No e. No e. No e. Your son. E. I -E. Okay. I got that. I -E. Words. I -E. I -E. I -E. I -E. I -E. Okay. Her son. I e person I e te. Miss Miriam, can you uh, say this one for us? I e te. I e te. I e te. I e te. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can fix it. Uh, sunny. Jude. <laughs> Boy, no, ball or. Um, text Wanda. See if she knows how to get it out. All right. No. My daughter. My daughter. Includes sister's daughter. No, eat. Oh, no, Ita. 
Naita. Oh, wait, no, Papi. Naita. Um, Grandma D, can you say this one for us? No, Ita. No, Ita. No, Ita. No, Ita. Your daughter includes sister's daughter. Your daughter includes sister's daughter. Na e a e ta a a e ta 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 Her daughter. You were right. Miss Miriam, will you say this one for us? Daughter. By name. All right. My nephew. Brother's son. Brother's son. Not, um, no, um, yeah. No, um, like, no, um, his nephew, my nephew, no, um. Um, Grandma Martha, can you say this one so we can hear? No, um, no, um, no, um, no, um, no, um, your nephew. Ah. Ah, uh, no, um. Uh -huh. uh, um. 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 Miss Velma? Uh, um. She might be cooking. Miss okay. um, Miriam, can you please say this one for us? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um. Uh, um. 
Uh, no, that no, uh, sounds like a new. Uh, um, her nephew. Uh um days. Uh um Uh um days. There's that Bama. Oh, Norma Bama, can you please say this one for us? Uh um day. Uh um day. Uh oh, mm -hmm. uh oh, nephew. Uh -oh. My name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. My niece, brother's daughter. No, um, no, um, ta. Uh huh. No, um, ta. No, um, ta. Um, Grandma D, can you say this one? No, um, ta. 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 No. Ugh. Your niece. Uh, um, ta. I'm on ta. Uh, um. Um, Miss Miriam, can you say this one? Uh, um, ta. Uh, um, ta. Grandma Martha, can you say this one for us? Uh, um, ta -te. Uh, um, ta -te. Uh -huh. Nice. Same as daughters. No. All right, my grandson. Ramon knows this one. <laughs> No Moggy. That's correct. No Moggy, yeah. No Moggy. Your grandson is next, I bet. Your grandson. Ah, uh, Moggy. Ah, uh, Moggy. 
Grandma Thelma? Amogi. 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 Her grandson. Amogoy. 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 That's it. Amogoy. Amogoy. Um. Grandmody, can you say this one? Amogyoy. Um, Amogyoy. Um, um, Grandson. Name only. Okay. My granddaughter. No mogita. No mogita. Not sure I can say that right. Um no more Marta. No mogita. No no more. No mogita. No mogita. Okay. Your granddaughter. Ah. Mogita. Oh, Margita. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, Margita. Mm -hmm. Okay, her granddaughter. Oh, Margita. Oh, Margita. Oh, Margita. Uh, Grandma D. Amogita. Amogita. Granddaughter. My name. Okay. We have just eight to go. We know these ones, I think. Close, most of them. My great grandson. Nathan Sean. Nathan Sean. Um, Miss Mariam. Nathan Sean. Nathan Sean. Nathan Oh, you are great grandson. I don't I don't Um, Martha. I don't I don't her great grandson. Uh, Her great grandson. Is it the same? Is it? Uh, it is a dog. So it is doesn't it have the ending of the day. The dog of day, yeah. How come it don't have the day on there? <laughs> Her great grandson. What do you Her say? Great grandson. Day. So is it the same as your grandson? It looks like it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the rest of them had day on it, or mm -hmm. you know. Day. 
Okay, I thought we had a pattern here. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you're getting it. <laughs> Great grandson, brother. Mm -hmm. oh. Calling to Don oh, Sean. Miss Miriam. Mm. Don oh, Sean. Don oh, Sean. Don oh, Sean. My great granddaughter. Proper term, little sister, is also acceptable. Like no. granddaughter. No. E. No. E. Sean. No. E. Sean. No. E. Sean. Dama. No. E. No. E. Sean. Not Ishan. Okay, two more. Your great granddaughter. Ishan. Uh, Oh, just up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss Miriam, can you say this one for us? Up E. Up E. Up E. Her great granddaughter. E day, eh? No, ah, uh, have a day. On? day. <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, e day. Uh, Grandma D. Ah, <laughs> e day. Ah, uh, e day. Well, we can ask Dane on that other one. Too, if that might have been there, but it's uh, on there. We shan't say. All right. Now, all right. This is the last one. Great granddaughter, little sister, calling to. Yeah. Ishan. Ishan. Uh, okay. The study stacks and the um, Google, the classroom doesn't mix, doesn't match. You know what I'm saying? The doc, the doc, Google Docs. And oh, the, does not match. On Google Docs, on the female great grandson, or great, wait, female's great grandmother? Mm -hmm. I'm, it's all my, I'm all confused now. On that, just that, that one there, the female great grandmother and the fem, female's great grandson. Might want to look at that. I'm not. Where's Dane? Is he still here? Mm. Email. No. Um. Yay! We got through them all. Through um, Mel the uh, Google Docs that you had us print off that you you know gave us in the email on uh -huh. the grandparent, 
great grandparents are different from the ones on study stack. Oh, okay. Um, we probably need to. Uh, I don't. I think Dane had to leave, but um, he's here. We'll to, oh, is he here? Okay. Oh, there um, he is. my bad. Oh yeah, there he is. Sorry, I thought I saw him jump off. Uh, Dane, do you? Uh, it sounds like we probably need to make some updates to the kinship terms in between study stacks and then those. You know, those two, uh, I think it's called kin kinship charts and then kinship terms in mm -hmm. the credentialing study folder. Um, yeah. yeah, so what do you think? Yeah, what, what is the, uh, what's the change? Um, what, under what female, female's great grandmother and then female's great grandson, I was following what the study stack had versus what the Google Drive has, and I wasn't coming up with the same thing, like the um, op op e day or uh, I don't know. It wasn't matching what the Google what the. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see which one's uh, which one's not uh, matching. See, I'll see on the city stack. We that. just did, we just did the last. Which ones were they, Courtney? It was the last ones. So it was the great female's great grandmother and female brother and friends. little sister. Okay, uh, let's see what studies test act said on it. Oh, Sean. Uh, uh, let's see. It's her great grandson is the same as your great grandson, um, and then we think some of them are just missing the sh um, TD strike through. Yeah. Uh, for the sim, uh, for the sounds. Okay, so it's, is it on the female version? Is it on the flashcards that it's missing, or is it on the charts? Uh, uh flash the study sex flashcards. Okay, let me check that out real quick. Okay, flash card. Is, is it level twos? Huh. Yeah. Huh. Female version. Yeah, because I can make those. I can make those changes pretty quick. And I wasn't sure. I mean, I was looking at the okay. the paper. You know, it's this one here, and then we were doing this card. So I was getting really okay. confused. There. Okay. okay, so I have it down and it was great granddaughter. Uh, study stacks. It was great. Your great grandson. I think that's one. That one's right. Your her great grandson is what may be missing, or it what said, we were wondering is should it say Chante? Oh no, um, it's it's weird. Um, uh, let me go ahead and pull up what I have on that side where I put it up and I'll show you where I kind of got everything from. So okay. And this is going to appear across the can y'all see this one? I know it's a little bit different but um Here it is. Can you see my cursor kind of going around it? It's oh. kind of the same form, but back then he had a capital A for AU, and then the blended D was a J uh, oh. prior to 2010-ish. Uh, and but this was made in 1945, so there's a lot of differences here. It was his 
uh, spelling system has evolved for quite a while. Anyway, if you look at Aton san for your great granddaughter and Aton san for his or her great granddaughter, which it depends on who you're talking about because it, it's going to cross over, the differences in tone. So you, your great granddaughter and your great grandson for the other one is Aton san. So it's like high tone. And then his or her great grandson's Aton san. It's, it goes low on the last two. Well, that's the difference. So there's no day on um, there. It's just, it's a tone thing that happens. Well, what's a DA order at the end that's of the second one? Uh, that, that's uh, talking about three or more, which is not in the notes. But we're on the his or their. His yes, this is it right here. Her. See, this is what my is. With the his or hers great. great. What's the one with the DA at the bottom of that one? That's the plural form. That's that's what TP means. It's plural. It's like great granddaughters, great grandsons. Oh, oh sons. Okay. So, so yeah, this version we the version with the TP that's actually not in there. I don't want to go that far because it goes with plural forms. Right now, we're just trying to get the basic family form. But yeah. That's kind of where all this was. This is made back in the 40s. So if you see this, I got Apabi and Apabioi, but the plural forms are Apabiop and Apabiop. And those are tonal differences too. Well, can you go to your um, your family and kinship on the Google Drive? The one that Melody just had us print up. Where's that at, Melody, in the Google Drive under? Uh, oh, yeah. It's the uh, the one that's in the credentialing study material. And it looks like, I don't know if you are able to see. It's the one with the tables. Yeah, like this here. Yeah, so. Kathy's got it up. So we're looking for the um, grandparents and great-grandparents. Okay, you want me to go to kinship charts? Is that it? Is that, um, yeah. I forget which one is the one that has the table. I think it might be full. Kinship full has the tables. I, I might I might switch up the wording on this <laughs> so we know which one's the table and which one's the the other parts. Okay, there, yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're looking we're, at which one? Grandparents and great grandparents. Okay, grandparents. Great okay, grandparents. down at the bottom, females, great grandmother, and great grandson. So we were doing them on studies. Oh, I see. Yeah, th that there is a. I see. I see what's going on here. It's a typo for this. Okay. It's gonna be that. Get, that's why I was getting confused there. It's, yeah. What the, the this one. This text. one shouldn't be. It should be. Oh, no. Uh, now, see, that's where we were wondering if it was Api on day. Yeah, it's not going to be. It's a, it's a tone thing, and actually, the tone's not even showing up in here. Uh, this one should be up, but um, but this one's wrong. It, it shouldn't be that. I'm going to see what's going on there. If if everything is. Something's not female's great grandmother. I, I got this set up weird. I should say, oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's not, it should say granddaughter. That's the only. That's the only thing that it should be. It shouldn't okay. say grandson. So it's right now. Oh, okay. So, okay. I was wondering why we were calling a boy, he, you know, Api and like. Yeah, it was the, it was the left side that was wrong. Um, I think I probably copied and pasted it and and forgot to change the grandson to granddaughter when I was copying and pasting the names on the left side. Up, what's the female's great grandmother. Okay. And that way you can kind of compare how similar they are. Except for when it's on the his her there. Yeah, it does that. It, it you don't, don't have a why. 
yeah, there's no indication at the end that there are, it's a tone. It's more of a tone than it is anything else. But yeah, I, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that all these years that that was like that. I'm sorry. And I know when they do our classes, they don't go that, they don't go that far with it. Okay. Okay. So that should be corrected at least on. Yeah, we got it. The granddaughter. Is there going to be anything like in the fall for this? Not that I mean, I okay, so I didn't hear anything what was happening, so I had to go ahead and commit to another uh, because I have a business too, so I have to get that out on the road and stuff. So I, I committed on the 19th, okay. Um, um, we haven't decided for a time, but it's going to be in the winter, but we okay. haven't decided whether it's December or January yet. Well, that'd be oh, good that'd better be for me, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Give me more time. <laughs> yeah, we're done. I guess we got through that, Melody. Awesome. Well, I guess we should uh, probably wrap up since we're uh, over time. <laughs> but at least we got through that and we're able to uh, see the uh, changes were needed. So that's awesome. Um, for our green prayer, um, Ramon, I don't know if you're able to, but Ramon. He must be making some more. Okay. No. <laughs> Hyundai. Uh, hey, uh, Ramon, uh, just wondering if you're able to say our closing prayer for us. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh, cool. <clears throat> oh, they own the dog. Yeah. In saw me. They only got call a taint so all on me. God, I just thank you for uh, this time. I uh, guess being able to come here and uh, learn together. Uh, and I just ask that you continue to be with each and every one of us as we continue on to learn and give us the knowledge uh, and the capacity to understand things and to uh, make it easy. Uh, for us, that way we can continue on and pass these things on. And <clears throat> as you say, you know, you gave us this language, and if we pray to you in this language, you'll hear us, and uh, we want that and for not just ourselves, but our people and our children and our grandchildren and those to come. And I just ask you, please, with each and every one of uh, our teachers, each and every one of our mentors, our uh, credentialing board, and other staff and be with all Kiowas, watch over us as we gather during this time uh, and just watch over us as we bear the sun and that we're hydrated and uh, we're staying safe and we're just having a good time uh, coming together once again. And I just ask that you watch over our leaders, be with those that are uh, behind bars, those uh, in conflicts overseas, bring our soldiers home and I just ask that uh, you also watch over those in the hospital and those that are in mourning. <clears throat> I pray these things in Jesus' name. I hope. Aho. 
All right. Well, good practice. Good practice. Um, well, Gosh. We're going to Kiowa Gord Clan. Stay, stay cool. And um, hey, go, hey, go, oi, bon ta. Hey, go, oi, don ta. Hande. Oh, sorry. If those that are still on, if you're um, at Gord Clan, um, in the morning on Tuesday, uh, we're gonna feed breakfast at the camp right behind the speaker stand. Sunday, what did I say? I sorry, I, I keep messing up my days. Tuesday, <laughs> Sunday. Oh, Sunday, Sunday or Tuesday? When? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I'm sorry. Sunday. The first day, Sunday, July second. If you're there in the morning time, we'll be serving breakfast. Um, this is for. Um, Myself, uh, my uncle Tom, and uh, our aunt Marilyn. So, you're invited. Oh, oh that's awesome! All are welcome. Uh -huh. so, oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, I'm oib. Hey, go, ba oibonta. Ha. Ahu, Courtney. Hey, go, hey, go, ba oitonta. Oh. Um. Hi, Aunt Mama. I love you. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm Poyomda. Oh, I'm Poyomda. Oh, no, I'm 